Before the delegates of the United Nations General Assembly at Flushing Meadow Park, Soviet Foreign Minister Molotov advocates worldwide disarmament, stands firmly for the right to veto in the Security Council, and opposes U.S. plans for atomic bomb control. Warren R. Austin, head of the United States delegation, takes up the various points raised by Mr. Molotov and presents our side. Mr. Molotov's speech indicated distrust and misunderstanding of the motives of the United States and of other members of the United Nations. I do not believe that recriminations among nations allied in war and peace promote that unity which Mr. Molotov himself so rightly point, points out is essential to the success of the United Nations. We fought for freedom side by side without recrimination. Can't we fight for peace side by side without recrimination? We welcome the confidence expressed by Mr. Molotov that unanimous agreement among all the nations, both large and small, can be achieved on such vital matters as the control of atomic energy and on steps to lighten the burden of armaments and military expenditures which still rest so heavily upon the peoples of the world. The United States urges disarmament. Since the end of the war in Europe and the Pacific, the United States has progressively and rapidly reduced its own military establishment. <laughs> After the last war, we made the mistake of disarming unilaterally. We shall not repeat that mistake. 